So the one with the the one with the American flag says, "In memory of Major Leland Lambe and the men of the 120th Regiment, 30th Division, United States Army." Major Lambe was killed in action at Fort Ibnal Imal on September 11th, 1944. So these are the these are the soldiers who died here, or the people I should say at least who died here. Look at that gun hole. Is there supposed to be a gun? That, that would be a gun. Isn't that cool? Look, every trench warfare. Oh yes. Right? Look, 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 look. That's a gas mask. Those are old gas masks. Oh my, that looks not comfortable. That does not look comfortable, does it? That does not look good. They were decontaminated in case of a gas attack, huh? Today we're at Fort Iban Imel, which is just outside the city of Liege. The fort was constructed between 1931 and 1935 as part of the fortification of Liege, which was the building of four huge fortresses around the city of Liege to prevent German attacks through uh, the Netherlands following the events of World War I. On 10 May 1940, 78 German paratroopers glided in on DFS-230 gliders and overtook a force of 1,200 Belgians with just 78 paratroopers. The Germans took the fort after blowing up many of the casemates and guns and forcing the Belgians to stay below deck, the garrison of the fort to stay below deck, and then they were able to uh, have them surrender the following day. With the surrender of this fort, all of the other forts built in the uh, fortification of Liege also surrendered. So we're all gonna go inside and take a look and see the history of this fort. But before we do that, make sure you click the subscribe button to follow all of our adventures. This is the first of four forts that we intend to visit from the fortification of Liege. Old toilet. Yes. Ew, huh? <laughs> Let's go check out the punishment cells. They just look like a regular old jail cell. Uh oh, I wonder what he did. This might have been um, this might have been the guy who was in charge of all the prisoners. Look at that. Oof. It smells like oil. The boiler room. The kitchen. Oh, this looks pretty big, doesn't it? Oh, you can actually get food in here. This fort is huge. So this is where we came in, right? And this is where we're standing right now in the kitchen. And all of this is underground. The showers. This is it. It's not a lot of space, is it? Wow, this is what the this is a mock-up of the fort, huh? Yeah. That's big. How big do you think it is? It's actually around 19 football fields. That's quite large, isn't it? Almost 20. That's the fort. If you were to dissect the mountain in half, that's what it looked like, huh? Yeah. That's cool. Let's go take a look. <gasps> look at these artillery shells. This looks like the front. Look at these artillery shells. Man, that's big. Those are really big bullets, huh? Yes. Look at this helmet. That's a cool looking helmet. I like that one. So let's get started. Here is the commander's office and chamber. Look at the trench art. Somebody made trench art out of the, those are artillery shells. And then somebody carves them and decorates them and makes them look like a piece of art. Isn't that cool? This must be where he slept, huh? And there's his wash basin and his desk. This is the officer's mess. Come on. This looks like a nice place to have lunch and dinner, right? Is that real food? No, it's not real food, but those are real dishes. Officer's chambers. Not a lot of space. It looks like, looks like maybe this guy is giving confession. I don't know. He looks like he got hurt though, huh? Shh, they're sleeping. So this is the elite 
non-commissioned officers. Maybe that means like senior non-commissioned officers, like the first sergeant or the sergeant major. It's very similar to the officers' quarters. Look, playing cards and drinking beer. Boys will be boys, huh? Yeah. Everett, where does a sheep go to get its haircut? The At the Baba shop. So this is a, a good little film that tells uh, the whole story of the fort in about 15 minutes. Really well done. So this is the troops of barracks. Oh, it smells like a very damp barracks. Yeah, it was the infirmary or the casualty collection point. So this is this represents the, the soldiers that died here during the attack. This is a memorial room for the veterans. I think this is a representation of the village outside the fort that was also attacked. It's a simulation of a bunker. Look at these cannons. Look at the size of those guns, huh? So look at, these are the cannons. These are the barrels of the cannon that would be in these large, yeah, these large bunkers. And then there's one of the cannons that they shoot the big bullets, the big shells, artillery shells. Okay, you have to boom test the cannon. Okay, you know what that means? You have to yell boom on the inside to make sure that it works. So yell boom. Boom. Do it again. All right, works. See if you can boom test it. Is there a hit? Yep, go ahead. Boom. Louder. Louder. Try it. Boom. Okay, one more time. One more time. I don't think it works. Come here, come on. Boom. Yeah, it still works. Even though it's bent and... This was a, 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 a munitions wagon that they would use to carry 75 millimeter artillery shells that were probably about this big. And you know the cannon you boom tested? Yeah. This is the shell that would be in there. You wanna take this? 112. Woo! 31 meters up. Look at all these stairs. Okay, the tour continues. Guess we should have taken the elevator, huh? The ammunition case mate, Maastricht. What do you see? Oh, uh, yeah, it's like telling the story. Tongaren? Look at the city of Tongaren. We were just there, right? Yes. I'll put an eye card up there so you can take a look at that video. Now we're going down. Down, down, down. What's it say at number 24? Oh, you're not gonna read it? It says, the water storage. Huh. Looks like they really kept all the water for the, for the fort. Oh, look at that. Look what they did to the gun. They just destroyed it. Do you remember in the video that we watched when they said they, the Germans put the shape charges and they blew it up? Yes. This is one of the things they blew up. Just one? This is just one of the things that they blew up. Hey Everett, this is the room, this big room here. That's where they kept all the ammunition for that gun you just saw that got blown up. Oh. Make sure you hold on to the railing. Woo! This is the glider that, yep, that the, uh, that the Germans used when they flew in and landed and attacked the fort. See that? That's so cool. Look how they sat. They sat one behind each other. See that? And they had one person steering it. 
Oh man, that's a tight fit. Ooh, can you imagine sitting in there? See that? That's what the shape charge looked like. That they put on top and then it would blow, the, the explosion would go downward. See that? That's a shape charge, that's pretty neat. And that explosion created that hole in the fort. Looks like this is the hospital. Operating room. Got our very own anesthesiologist. Look at the hole in that piece of steel. Must be, must be from the bridge they blew up. Yep. See, but this is a uh, well. It's a map, but it shows it shows when they when they took off from Cologne, and they flew in the gliders, and they got released. And then here is where they attacked. They attacked the fort, and they attacked these three bridges because they wanted to take control of the river and the canal. So we paid about 34 euro for everybody to get in, which included this handy dandy little map that we're going to use that allows it takes you on a walk above the top of the fort. Hey. What's the secret password? Uh, subscribe. Huh? Subscribe. Subscribe? <laughs> Good one, buddy. Yep, that's one. That's an artillery gun. That's a 60 millimeter, it says. I wonder if these are air defense guns. I wonder if these are air defense guns to shoot like airplanes and stuff. I don't want you to, but you can. You can oh, there's an exit? Yep, this is our way out. This is the way out? Yeah. Can we get out? Yeah. Ooh, I don't know about that. You wanna try it, buddy? Uh, or you wanna go out the regular door? Okay. Now we're gonna go around the outside of the fort and look, use our handy dandy map and walk around the top of the fort, right? Yeah. More stairs! So now we're on top of the fort. We had a pretty decent climb and it would seem we spent uh, too much time in the US there because uh, that didn't used to smoke us so bad. But we're sitting on top of the fort and then this map will outline some of the important things that they talked about um, down inside the fort. So we'll follow this little path and take it around the fort, the top of the fort, uh, following our map. So behind me is artillery casemate Mostrich 2 which during the attack on 10 May, the Germans placed a shape charge on here and busted through, uh, killing two Belgian soldiers. You don't really get a sense of how big that fort is underneath until you're standing on top of it. All of these spots you see here are casemates, cannons, and machine guns nests, bunkers. So we've reached the end of the tour, uh, walking atop the, the uh, fort. Right behind me is de defensive bunker number 12, which was attacked uh, through aerial bombardment and troops on, uh, on May 10th. Hey, so thanks for watching. Make sure you uh, click that subscribe button, follow along. We're gonna try and hit the other forts. I'll go ahead and put I cards up and create a playlist so you can watch the other four forts of the fortification of Liege. Thanks, bye.